what is going on guys hopefully you're having a good day today uh, i am out here at a grain bin now, this is a grain bin that basically went wrong everything about it went wrong when they started pouring the concrete in the uh, on the floor they were supposed to pack down every six inches the the dirt underneath it and then keep doing that layer and layer and layering it until the concrete with it was then poured on top well they didn't do that and so the concrete floor and then the the risers basically failed so they basically ended up having to rip out all of the concrete in this grain bin and also the grain bin that's actually even you know behind it there so needless to say you know several inches thick of concrete of this grain bin was basically tore up and they had to dispose of it in some way and so i just want to kind of talk through this experience with you um, now that i've done multiple concrete jobs sometimes where it was just absolutely the worst possible way and situation that happened unlike this situation that's happening right now this is number i believe number nine my dump trailer right there i've got my two 10 yards here these are filled up uh, we've been doing it for about a week and some change about and i think there's a right way and a wrong way to take these types of jobs and it really depends on just a few factors number one being the type of job that it is is this a a one day process uh is this a, a simple you know a, a back patio a driveway you know what does this really look like how long of a project is this and in my in my mind determines whether you can really do it with a smaller you know operation as far as dump trailers or smaller dumpster cans this is going to to me determine whether i can really even make it work for them because ultimately we know concrete weighs by the cubic yard almost like four thousand pounds per cubic yard so somebody who's got uh, under twenty six thousand, you know gvwr whether that's you know truck a trailer or the what's able to go inside of a dump trailer we can't be hauling a full load we can't do just one load maybe it might be able to possibly fit all inside however if if it's not able to be pulled down the road legally safely or potentially damaging your actual equipment that's a no-no so that's the first thing is this going to be an ongoing process that they're okay with things taking longer or do they have to have everything done in one day because the truth is if you have to do like five loads to make it safe for your equipment in one day is that reasonable is that financially a possibility as far as the extra fuel and you know really charging by the load in this case this is going to be an ongoing process uh, and ultimately this is going to take a few more weeks probably a couple probably two three dumpsters maybe even just two a day averaged for the next couple weeks i'm i'm assuming based on what i'm able to do as far as what i can put in my 10 yard cans and what can go on my rail system versus uh, the dump trailers ultimately they can't pack these things out because of the weight because of you know what goes into it i have places to dump for free all this concrete so that's not an issue that's free that's no big deal and it's 24 7 so i don't have to wait for business hours to make things work real close together or something like that i'm able to do this anytime i want as long as it's filled up and i come out here and grab it well there's that side of it but also you know what happens if they do overload you if it's a one day thing and they overload you like i said they're gone probably what are you going to do about it you're sitting there with a dumpster that's filled up and you're either going to be causing some some major uh head with with the customer if you didn't already communicate and go through all this with them if things are not you know the expectations are not built into that what we have figured out here before i even showed up with one dump was i said listen i've got 10 yard cans and i've got some dump trailers we can put about 10,000 pounds in either type. Now, 10,000 pounds in a 10 yard that's shorter versus my 15 yard dump trailer, that's gonna look a little bit different. So we need to figure out at what point and making sure everything's stabilized, that everything is going to be safely going down the road, that I can even pick it up and we're not gonna be overloading any of my equipment. Number one, 
it's not worth the job if you are going to be overloading the equipment. So they said, listen, we're, we're willing to work with you however many loads it takes, which means if something is overloaded or too heavy, which we've found out at the beginning, what does you know the the max capacity in this tub style 10 yard what does this really look like what can my system do uh, i got it weighed we know at what point in this 10 yard can i actually do now the other aspect of it is dumping concrete into your containers what what does that look like are you damaging your equipment for me i haven't noticed i have not noticed any real difference no gouges no punctures no crazy uh, on the dump trailer or these cans I have not had an issue at all yet. We're staying underneath the the max capacity for what this is, and we've opened we've even opened the door and let things fly out, and they just come scoop it up, get out of the way, and then when I'm able, when I feel comfortable, basically it's on my terms. That's that's what I'm trying to convey to you. This is this is a a concrete job that could potentially be very disastrous. However. We've already communicated through all these different points. Hey, if it's overloaded, I don't take the trailer or I don't take the, the can. It ain't happening. And it's not nasty or rude or anything like that. It's just simply figuring it out. If you're if you're wanting to work with me and I can be flexible and I can do multiple cans a day and, and really cater to you, I'm fine with that. However, we're not gonna be overloading. We're not gonna be damaging my equipment. I say, what is a good load? What's not a good load? They will hand unload it or open the door, let things fly out, and then close the door again, and basically whatever I feel comfortable with. So I think that's the other big thing. That's the other big issue. If you are willing and potentially wanting to do some of these jobs that maybe potentially could be rough, the questions you have to ask, how quickly do you want to get this done? Because if we run into issues, it's going to take longer. So if you want to work with me and, and I can get you a good price and, and work well with you, that's the, the first line of defense of, you know, listen, if things go south and you overload my dumpster, how quickly are you going to be loading it into the next dumpster? Because you will be not, you know, I'll just open the door and just lock, you know, leave it all there. Um, that's not my problem. So being, being open with that communication of, hey, how quickly does this need to happen? When we do have some overloading issues, how easy can we transition and get that working? And then also hopefully finding the, the best place to, to be able to dump that has that easy access, uh, you know, hopefully 24 uh, seven, being able to dump this, whether it's clean or not, of it as rebar or some of this small, some of this small stuff. Some places are okay with this small wire, some places are not. It just depends on, on the company and you, you need to call around and find out so that you don't agree to a job. You show up, you get the, the concrete and you go to uh, where you're going to dump it and they say, yeah, we don't, we only take completely clean concrete. We don't take any wire, any, anything debris, only concrete. Then you're in a pickle and ultimately you should have already done your homework, my, my homework before you show up with that. So I did just run into a situation where I was originally told, cause I asked and I called, hey, is it okay if we have a little bit of wire sticking out of this concrete? It's not crazy, crazy, tons of it. Is that okay? And they said, sure, no problem. Well, what, is, what does a lot of wire mean? What does a little wire mean? Well, they basically came back and, and came and talked to me when I dumped this last time and said, hey, uh, we actually think this is too much wire. The other loads were fine, but it's it's too much wire right now. So, you know, we need the wire gone or find another place to be able to do this. So, okay, that's fine. They even suggested another place that's free. They basically will take anything and everything, anything at all for free. So yeah, I'm gonna be taking these from now on to that location for free, it's just as far away as the other place. And uh, these are some of the things you might want to think through when doing a job like this. When when you say, hey, this is not what I'm willing to take. This is too heavy. You're not going to put your equipment at risk, whether it's being dinged or dented or God forbid holes being put in your dumpster or you can't lift it up or whatever the case may be. Does the customer know when something bad happens they are liable, they're the ones who are going to be emptying it, taking care of it, and dealing with it. I think oftentimes there are, you know, probably employees who, who don't care, of course, about your equipment, about your containers, and they're just gonna send it as much as they possibly can, 
and just make it work because they feel like they have to. That may be the case, but at the end of the day, you are not going to be the person who has to just deal with that. It's, it's up to us to stick up for ourselves and to describe, hey, this is acceptable, this is not. So it's my suggestion to you, if if you're even considering doing concrete jobs, and, and maybe you aren't, uh, that's okay. Let me know down in the comments below what you think. If you do though, consider all of the communication needs to be already worked out beforehand. Before you show up with any dumpster, any dump trailer, it's got to be handled beforehand. All the communication, timing, scheduling, how many dumpsters it's gonna take, what you can actually hold weight-wise, and the understanding that what you say goes and you're not going to allow overloaded dumpsters. We're not just sending these things and just trying to make things work. Your protection, your equipment has to be the top priority in these jobs. And so I happen to have found a company, a, a guy who understands the whole process, he gets it. And so we were able to figure it out together, walk through all these questions, making sure it actually works for his time frame, it works for my equipment, and it's going to be safe for everybody involved, and it's still a reasonable price. That's also the last component of all this is, does it even make sense to work with you with doing a lot more loads with lower weight inside these containers if you're not a CDL driver with larger cans, heavier duty cans that can take more abuse, more weight? Does it make sense across the board with all the fuel and time and everything built into that? So lay everything out on the table, consider what the, the real deal is, and uh, just kind of go from there. So hopefully this was a help to you. Uh, hit the like button and subscribe if you'd like to. Uh, I'm just trying to share my journey and uh, share my experience right now. So thanks again. Have a great day, guys. Stay safe and God bless.